Alright, hello, how's it going everyone? We are back now with episode 7 of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Let's Play series. On the last episode, we pretty much got through Mount Moon and a little bit of Route 4. So now that we are in Cerulean City, let's go explore it a bit and uh, see what this gym offers for us. Looks like we got a little bike, bike shop here. Want to talk to this kid? You know the guy who lives in that house there? He's collected bikes from all over the world. No way. You're making some sort of encyclopedia of the Pokemon? That sounds like a fun time. There's a tree growing in front of the Pokemon. It's blocking the way to the route to the south. I think there's a long way around now. I hope so. Let's see what this guy is uh, going to talk about. Be cool if I could ride bikes around. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look. Yep, that's a bike, and that's a bike. Uh, those two look the same, and so do those two, so... Not much variety here with this guy. It's cool getting to see all his rare bikes, but boy, that bike maniac goes on and on and on. I like riding on Pokemon, sure, but riding on a bike is pretty cool too. <laughs> See, I'd, I'd have it the other way around. I'd be used to riding on a bike and then riding on a Pokemon. What? Pikachu is entranced by the fountain. Here you go, Pikachu. You wanna throw money in? Uh, no thanks. What a waste of money. Hey, have you heard about the fountain of Cerulean City? If you throw money in the fountain with your Pokemon, you'll be very close to that Pokemon. Um, I don't really like that legend. I feel like that's a waste of money. Taking care of an injured Pokemon here. Bubblesaur is fully recovered, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon and I can trust. The number of Pokemon you've caught so far is 41. Incredible. Would you take care of this Bubblesaur? Sure. But let's not tell her what I'm going to do with it. Wait till I get outside, then I'll tell you. Shh, don't tell her. Alright, are you ready? I think... I think I'm going to transfer this Bubblesaur. To Professor Oak for candy. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. But don't tell her, okay? Only skilled trainers can collect gym badges. I see you have at least one. May I tell you something interesting about those badges? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? Honestly, I don't really care right now. <laughs> Uh, it proves a person defeated the Cerulean City Gym Leader. If you look at it, you'll see it's an elegant shape. It was made to look just like a water drop. Watch out for the pointy end, though. It's a bit sharp. The whole reason why I wanted to hear his little spiel was because I wanted to see if he would tell me what kind of Pokemon it would be. But, of course, with it being uh, sort of a water drop, it's probably going to be water. Water-type Pokemon, so... If I remember from the anime, water type is weak against flying, right? So I could use Pikachu and Pidgey, I guess. Did I go on this one? I can't remember. No. Went to the one down below. Wow. How'd you get that thing in here? It's huge. How is the ceiling even that high? I was stopped when I tried to enter the Pokemart. That was utterly unnecessary. My Onyxy is such a good boy that it goes in its Pokeball in a tight space, even without being asked. Well, there you go. A Pokemon listening to its trainer. It's almost like she thinks it's rare. Alright, let's go into the Pokemon Center here and, uh, you know, recover their health a little bit. 
Get our st stats back up to normal. Talk to a few people in here. I'll probably swap out my Pidgey to the first slot with Pikachu in second. And I think we should be okay to finish the gym. I really do. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic. With a collection like his, who wouldn't want to brag a little bit? I think people are just jealous. They sure are. Maybe even envious. Hi, do you want to trade your Rattata for my Rattata? Okay. A level 3 for a level 12 Alolan Rattata? Absolutely. Because one, I'll have a different type of Pokemon. And two, it'll apparently level up faster. You know, it's interesting seeing this in this because the Lohan version comes from Sun and Moon. Some Pokemon have different appearances and even types depending on where they were born, even if they are the same species. How neat. Oh, that Bill. I heard that he'll do anything to get his hands on rare Pokemon. Anything at all. Like, including stealing? That's rude. Your Pikachu looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that Pikachu can learn a marvelous move that I developed. Do you want to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? What do you say? Uh, I'm speechless. What is Zippy Zap? I was thinking it was one of the special moves. The user attacks the target with bursts of electricity at high speed. This move always goes first and results in a critical hit. Its power is 50. That does paralysis, that's 110. I see, if you change your mind you can come back. Okay. Cool, he gives me the option to come back. There are two types of attacking moves, physical and special moves. Your Pokemon's attack stat is high, teach it a physical. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Why don't you trade Pokemon with your friends? You can get a lot of variety by trading. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly too. Yep. I'll have to look into that, see what kind of Pokemon my friends have. I'm definitely late to the game by a few weeks. Actually, probably even a month at this point. You're a trainer too? Collecting Pokemon, battling with Pokemon. It's a tough life, isn't it? So I did say I was actually gonna swap out Pidgey to Ivysaur and Pikachu to the Oddish slot. And that should do it. And should I do it? Let's hop right into it. Why not? Yo! Champ in the making! Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge your gym. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. So it doesn't even matter if... It's a strong type against hers. She just wants level 15. Impressive. I see if a Pokemon is at least level 15. In that case, head on in and good luck. So this is different. I remember slightly that in the original version, yeah, they kind of were by the water edge, but I don't remember them being on diving boards and jumping in to fight me. So that's pretty cool. Definitely adds more to the world and the environment that you're in. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. We'll see about that. I think my Pokemon's gonna toss you up in a gust. Godin. Godin, Godin, Godin. Now, hopefully, I remember correctly. And this Pidgey is gonna be strong against the Goldeen.
Wait. Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu wants to come out and... Wait, what did Pikachu do? That's interesting. I thought in the anime that Pidgey, well he was uh, Pidgeot, I guess, was strong against the water type. Let me look that up really quickly here. Pikachu should definitely do well enough. Especially with just about any um, electrical attack. Not to mention <laughs> the level difference too. Electric and grass. Okay. That's very interesting. I thought water moves would be effective against grass, but I guess not because grass absorbs. Okay. So in that case then, I want to... Oddish is, right? Grass, perfect. So let's bring Oddish over to over to the first slot here. And obviously electric, so Pikachu can stay there. Cool. I'm just doing that so I can, like I said, get more XP for the Oddish. The only problem is I don't have any sort of physical attacks, but I do have I do have grass attacks, which should be effective enough. Look at that little shelter. Let his tongue out. Come on, Oddish. Ice shards. Oh, great. How effective is water against? Water is not very effective. So I'm surprised that that was actually as effective as it was. I really am. See, it says super effective. Hmm. I want to see what this is. The user lays a trap of levitating stones around the opposing team. The trap hurts opposing Pokemon that switch into battle. Switch into battle. Okay. I also wanted to actually see the category. Doesn't an image doesn't really help me. <laughs> hmm. Use there's attack for two turns. Oh yeah, right. Um, I'm gonna start getting rid of normal attacks for the type that this Geodude is, which is rock. I think it's smart to keep them in the uh, type that they are. You see that dive just now? Don't you think it's deserving of a gold medal? It is alright. I mean, yeah, it was amazing.
Let's see what this does to Seal. Seal uses Headbutt. Oh yeah, I have Headbutt too. I could teach that to my Geodude. Okay, super effective. The only issue is the level difference. Otherwise, that would have been more effective. Oh, that's a cool effect. Very nice. Hopefully, I can actually get more health back from this. Yeah, the Aqua Jet won't do much. Did 5 HP. And this will get me pretty much full. Not quite. Maybe only... Oh yeah, only about 75%. That's too bad. So, let's see. Do I just want to defeat her really easily, or... Take my time. I think I'm going to... Sorry, I want to actually use an item. I think I'm going to use an item on the Oddish. Heal it up a bit. And then... Just use the Oddish until it, it faints, if it faints. And then switch over to Pikachu, and obviously win the battle. Alright. Let's see what you got, Misty. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready, are you? You're challenged by Gym Leader Misty. Gym Leader Misty sends out Psyduck. Go Oddish! Oddish uses Absorb. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Super effective. It's down halfway. Let's see. Um... I don't think this will be effective, but let's do it anyways. Oh yeah, there we go. Psyduck's asleep. And then we will absorb. I was thinking about stunning, but we're gonna absorb. Nice. Critical hit. Faint. Got some health back. Now she's gonna send out, I believe it's a Starmie. Yeah. No, I don't wanna switch. I wanna I wanna see what this Oddish can do. I really do. Alright, Oddish. Don't let me down. Put this Starmie to sleep. Oh no, Swift is gonna be. I was gonna say, that was gonna be pretty decent. Alright, asleep. I'm gonna stun it as well. So it does some uh, paralysis. I wasted some time on that. But it's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really unfortunate that it failed. So I'm gonna absorb. Take advantage of it still being asleep. It's also what? Three levels above me. But that's okay. Come on, Oddish, you can do this. Oh shoot. Starmie got out of sleep. So, if I can, I'd like to put it back to sleep. Because pretty much the next attack is gonna kill me. Yeah. Pretty much. Dude, if we can clutch this, this would be so cool. Alright, Oddish. You've got this. 
I think it's about three more attacks. Unless you get a critical, then it might be two. Mm, yeah, we'll see. Two might do it. Go, Oddish! Oh no! That's definitely gonna take us out. Alright. You did well, Oddish. Come back. Pikachu will uh, avenge your death. Easily. Easily and gladly. Let's go with a thin, simple Thunderbolt. That's it. I knew you could do it. 346 for that. I'd rather my other Pokemon to get that XP. Wow, you're too much. Oh, thank you. I mean, I do hear that quite often. Alright, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Cascade Badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listening to you. And you can also have my favorite TM. TM Scaled from Misty. This TM teaches Pokemon to move Scaled. Use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. I could use that on uh, the Magikarp. Yeah, good job, Pikachu. You deserve a pat on the head. Pikachu is so excited, it's jumping up and down. Oh yeah, there you go. No, that's not what I meant. Don't worry. My hand is a little sensitive. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to there. Alright. We did it. What does this guy have to say? You beat Misty. Good job. The splashes of your battle came all the way over here. Nice. I wonder... No, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go in here now and, uh... Of course, heal up my Pokémon and then, uh... Explore a bit more of the city and then we'll just move on. We still have plenty of time. Alright, so what else does this city offer? Oh, Voltorb. Oh, Electrode, sorry. My bad. Use Sonic Boom. Oh, come on, Lec. I wish you'd listen to my orders. Could you imagine if it used Sonic Boom right there? I don't think uh, it'd be very good to use in the city. Ho? Oh? My dearest Clefairy's head. I was messing with its fur and it got really fluffy and cool. But it got back to normal I kept messing with it. What? The act of fluffing with it put it back to normal? Okay. Let's see what the Pokemon has to offer. Have you ever seen a rare candy? I found one in a shop. I heard that it makes a Pokemon level up instantly. Yep, I actually have quite a few of them. Once you defeat a gym leader and get a new badge, you should visit the local shop. It should have new items you can buy. It's a sign that you become a stronger trainer. Alright, what do you got? I'm here to buy. Alright, we got some Pokeballs, we got Potion, Healing, Awakening, Escape Ropes, some increase to our stats. Alright. Nothing that I really need. Alright, it's the end of that way. It'd be nice if I can go down here, but I can't use cut yet. You can't read the sign from the back. Oh, that's so funny. Honestly, like, just hop over the bushes. 
Uh, so I have been up there, which ended... Actually, no. That is where I need to go. That's right, because you hop down over the ledge there. Okay, so I can't go over there. It's just bushes. What a shame. The people here were robbed. Someone even saw the thieves escape, and they say it was none other than Team Rocket. To protect the poor owners of this house from further harm, I won't be letting anyone in. Not even a little Rattata will sneak past me. I'm pretty sure I can get in there somehow. Arr. Oh, you've got to... You're not going to believe this? Uh, uh, it, it's... Uh. Okay, calm down. Jeez. Oh, he has three Pokemon this time. It's not a Pidgey. Alright, that's not very impressive. Come on, Oddish. Oh, yeah? Well, look what my Oddish can do. Not very much, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Let's try putting this Pidgey to sleep. Nice. So I'm assuming if it does that animation, it's always gonna work, right? If it didn't do that animation, then it wouldn't have worked. I woke up already. All right, let's continue on with our absorbing. Pretty much the only attack that this Oddish has. Everything else is uh, damage over time. Oh wow, he used a potion? It's gonna be a lot longer fight than I wanted to, uh, a lot longer fight than I anticipated. What's he going to send out next? It's crazy to think that he only has three Pokemon in his party. I mean, I pretty much only used two, but... What was he going to send out? I can't remember. I actually wasn't even looking. Oh, he sent out an Oddish? Oh, shoot. Well, this should be interesting. Probably not going to be effective. Nope. Of course, he's acid. Avoided the attack? Alright, alright. We're gonna have to swap this out then. You know what? Let's use our Pikachu because after this, it's gonna be his Eevee. Pikachu. 
Um, does it really matter, actually? Let's just use Slam. Do something basic. Very effective. I'm gonna send out Eevee. Do I want to switch? No. I'll show you just how much stronger than you than my starter is. I'll show you just how much stronger my starter is than yours. There you go. Although, it's kind of unfair because I did walk with it for a while. Phew, okay, I feel a bit calmer now. He just needed a smacking. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't forget when you hear this, the Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Ah, I, I just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Ben. I'm guessing that's Meowth. All right, Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu likes my friend Brad too, who apparently is not a rival in this one. There you go, Pikachu. Oh, what'd you find? I was just taking in the scent of the flowers. Alright, alright. So, we've got a bunch of trainers up ahead. Let's just save for now. I think... Getting through these trainers... Will pretty much get us through to the end of the episode. One, two, three, four, five. How many is there on this bridge? Five of them, okay. Beat us five and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I sure do. Alright, Pidgey, peck its eyes out. Didn't even see it coming. I'm second. Now it's serious. Oh really? Now it's serious? We'll see about that. Another Psyduck. Critical hit. You know what? Actually, no. I was going to use mirror move, but I feel like my gust is going to be stronger than its scratch. I'm actually curious how much damage the scratch will do. Cool. It worked. How could I lose? Because you're a loser. Yeah, 
Here's number three. I won't be easy. I think you will be. Youngster Timmy. They really don't put much variety in their clothing, do they? Seems like they all shop at the same place. See, Sandshrew is interesting because it's going to have kind of similar attacks in a way. Like, I think it also has Gust, but I can't remember. Let's poison you too. Nope. I'm already poisoned. Would you stop poisoning me? Ah. Uh, did the wrong thing again. This little kid is going to beat me. Yeah, see if it wasn't for this poison, I am pretty sure I would win this, but yeah. That's alright, you did well, Pidgey. So, let's send out... Come on. Let's set out Ivysaur. Pretty much either or. Vine Whip or Tackle would have taken him out pretty easily. So, let's take out that Fainted Pidgey. I'm gonna actually revive it later. Hmm. Yeah. I'm number four. Getting tired? Not one bit. Ooh, she has a meow. Oh, damn. I'm flinched and can't move now. Oh, nope. I definitely could. Get smacked, you little cat. I lost two? Sure did. Next. It's like they're all lined up, ready to get destroyed. Growl it, eh? I still feel like I'll be effective enough. Considering it's not using any sort of um, fire attacks. Trainer too, or do you got something for me? 
Congrats, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. You got a nugget from the mystery trainer. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right. We're a group dedicated to e doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Uh, a little bit of peer pressure there for the kid, eh? I thought that would actually be more effective. Nice, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Will I switch now? I remember coughing being a little difficult before too, when it was Jesse and James. What did smog do? It said that it used smog. Oh, there, it actually did something that time. I guess I skipped the animation maybe? You're good. With your skills, you can become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Alright. Oh, I don't want to battle her. So that's going to actually do it for this next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we actually defeated another gym in this episode and early on too, so that's pretty cool. We got through to the other side of the bridge, and this guy will probably trade his Charmander with me, but I'll do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you here next time. Have a good day!